Hey everyone, today we're checking out gyrocopters, those cool flying machines that look like a mix between a helicopter and a lawnmower. But don't let their looks fool you, these things are awesome. They fly in a special way, kind of like a helicopter, but also like a plane. Gyrocopters, also called autogyros or gyroplanes, have been around for almost 100 years. Invented by the Spanish engineer Juan de la Sierra in the 1920s, they were designed to be a safer alternative to airplanes, which were prone to stalling and crashing at the time. They're not as famous as jets or helicopters, but they're super interesting. Unlike helicopters, gyrocopters have an unpowered rotor that spins freely in the airflow as the aircraft moves forward. This is called autorotation. The forward thrust is provided by an engine-driven propeller, similar to an airplane. This unique combination allows gyrocopters to take off and land in very short distances, making them incredibly versatile. Let's find out what makes them so special. One of the coolest things about gyrocopters is their ability to fly at very low speeds without stalling, which makes them perfect for recreational flying and aerial photography. They can also handle strong winds and turbulence better than many small airplanes. Plus, they're relatively easy to fly and maintain which makes them a popular choice for aviation enthusiasts. Gyrocopters are also used in a variety of practical applications. For example, they are often used in agriculture for crop spraying in law enforcement for surveillance and in search and rescue operations. Their ability to hover and fly slowly makes them ideal for these tasks. Despite their many advantages, gyrocopters are still relatively rare compared to other types of aircraft. This is partly because they require a different set of skills to fly and partly because they are not as well known. However, those who do fly them often become passionate advocates for these unique aircraft. So, if you're looking for a new adventure in the skies, why not give gyrocopters a try? Whether you're an experienced pilot or a complete beginner, there's something truly special about these amazing machines. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of gyrocopters. Until next time, happy flying. Happy. Our story starts in the 1920s with Juan de la Sierva, an engineer from Spain. Born in Murcia in 1895, Sierva was fascinated by aviation from a young age. He was determined to solve one of the biggest problems of early flight, the inability of airplanes to fly safely at low speeds. This issue often led to dangerous stalls and crashes which were all too common in the early days of aviation. He wanted to make flying safer because planes back then weren't very good at flying slowly. Traditional fixed-wing aircraft required a certain speed to generate lift, and if they slowed down too much, they would lose lift and potentially crash. Sierva's goal was to create an aircraft that could fly safely at low speeds, reducing the risk of accidents. Sierva had a great idea, a rotor, like a big fan, on top of the plane that spins freely. This rotor would allow the aircraft to generate lift even at low speeds. Unlike a helicopter, the rotor on Sierva's design wasn't powered by an engine. Instead, it was turned by the airflow as the aircraft moved forward, a concept known as auto-rotation. This rotor wasn't powered by an engine, but by the wind. As the aircraft moved forward, the wind would spin the rotor, generating lift and allowing the aircraft to fly safely at low speeds. This innovative design was a major breakthrough in aviation technology. This was the first autogyro. Sierva called his invention the autogyro, and it was a completely new type of aircraft. The autogyro combined the best features of airplanes and helicopters, offering the safety and stability of a helicopter with the simplicity and efficiency of an airplane. In 1923, Sierva's invention flew for the first time. The maiden flight of the Autogiro took place in Spain, and it was a resounding success. The aircraft demonstrated its ability to fly safely at low speeds, and it quickly attracted the attention of aviators and engineers around the world. The age of the gyrocopter had begun. Sierva's invention paved the way for the development of modern rotorcraft, including helicopters. The principles of auto-rotation that he pioneered are still used in rotorcraft today, making flying safer and more efficient. The gyrocopter remains a testament to Sierva's ingenuity and his lasting impact on aviation history. Here's the cool part about gyrocopters, auto-rotation. Unlike helicopters, which use an engine to spin their rotors, gyrocopters use the wind. 
It's like a windmill, but backwards. As the gyrocopter moves forward, air goes up through the rotor, making it spin. This spinning makes the gyrocopter fly. Auto rotation is also a great safety feature. If the engine stops, the rotor keeps spinning, letting the gyrocopter float down slowly like a seed from a tree. How cool is that? Gyrocopters are pretty simple machines. They might look a bit unusual at first glance, but their simplicity is what makes them so fascinating and efficient. Unlike helicopters, which have complex mechanisms to control the rotor, gyrocopters rely on a much more straightforward design. They have a few main parts. First, the rotor. The rotor is the large spinning blade on top of the gyrocopter. It's not powered by the engine directly, but instead, it spins freely as the gyrocopter moves forward. This is called autorotation, and it's what keeps the gyrocopter in the air. This is the big spinning part on top that makes the gyrocopter fly. As the gyrocopter moves forward, air flows through the rotor blades, causing them to spin. This spinning action generates lift, which is what allows the gyrocopter to take off and stay airborne. It's a simple yet ingenious mechanism that sets gyrocopters apart from other flying machines. Then the fuselage, which is like the body. The fuselage is the main structure of the gyrocopter. It's where all the other parts are attached. It's designed to be lightweight yet strong, providing a sturdy frame for the engine, the pilot and the controls. The fuselage also helps to streamline the gyrocopter, reducing air resistance and allowing for smoother flight. It holds the engine, the pilot seat and the controls. The cockpit is where the pilot sits and operates the gyrocopter. It's equipped with a variety of instruments and controls that allow the pilot to monitor the gyrocopter's performance and navigate through the air. The engine provides the power needed to propel the gyrocopter forward, while the controls allow the pilot to steer and adjust the altitude. The controls are similar to a plane's, used for turning and going up or down. The control stick, or joystick, is used to tilt the rotor blades, which changes the direction of the lift and allows the gyrocopter to turn or climb. There are also pedals that control the rudder, which helps to steer the gyrocopter left or right. Finally, the throttle controls the engine power, allowing the pilot to speed up or slow down. This can be at the front or back, and it pulls or pushes the gyrocopter through the air. The propeller is another crucial component of the gyrocopter. It can be mounted at the front or the back of the fuselage. When it's at the front, it pulls the gyrocopter forward, and when it's at the back, it pushes it. The propeller works in conjunction with the rotor to provide the necessary thrust and lift for flight. Together, these simple yet effective components make the gyrocopter a marvel of aviation engineering. Section 5. Uh, the gyrocopter advantage, small but mighty. Why choose a gyrocopter over a helicopter? Well, these little guys have some tricks up their sleeves. First, they're great at taking off and landing in short distances. No need for big airport. Second, they're safe. If the engine quits, the gyrocopter glides down safely thanks to auto-rotation. And third, they're simple. Fewer parts mean less can go wrong and less maintenance, which saves money. Section 6. Gyrocopters at work, from farms to the sky. So what are these things good for? Lots of stuff. People fly them for fun and they're great for taking pictures from the air, but they're also used on farms for spraying crops and checking on fields. And guess what? Police and security use them too for watching traffic and patrolling borders. Section 7. Headwinds and Hurdles. The challenges remain. Gyrocopters have some downsides. They don't do well in bad weather like strong winds. They also can't carry much weight. And they're not as popular as planes or helicopters. Section 8. Gyrocopters 2.0 Innovation Takes Flight. But the future of gyrocopters is exciting. New engines are being made that are quieter and better for the environment. New materials are making them lighter and stronger. And some really cool new designs might even change how we travel in cities flying above traffic. Section 9. The future is up in the air, so there you have it. The gyrocopter, a cool machine with a long history and an exciting future. Maybe one day we'll all be flying to work in our own gyrocopters. Until then, keep an eye out for them in the sky. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to fly a gyrocopter.
See ya.